Today we're going to show you uh, part two of the bubble coral propagation. We're going to try to do some zooming so you can see the little dropping. I think you will all enjoy this very much. It's, it's fan fantastic. There it is on day three. As you can see, it is starting to show its bubble tips. Very, very special. We went to both stores here in Houston. They've never heard of this happening. We don't see anything else on YouTube. We see people fragging, but this is the actual natural way of propagating. Uh, the fragging done in an ocean, for those who don't know, is done because of waves and, and rocks in the reef smashing or it's smashing up against a rock and the skeleton cracking, not by a Dremel tool. The Dremel tool is successful sometimes with, with this type. We don't use that. This is an all-natural reef with really uh, no type of protein skimmers or any mechanical type stuff. Now, if you see the baby bubble coral, it was attached to the mother and it broke off. And then it's been rolling around. It was all the way up at the window earlier. She's recovered, of course, and looking outstanding. Let's take a look at all her bubbles. And she's just come back to perfect health. This you won't experience with fragging because they kind of shrivel up a little bit. And everybody else is happy in here. The frog spawn is happy. It has one of its... Uh, Tentacles re retracted. The little skunk cleaning shrimp is back there. And just for your entertainment, this is the rosebud. We've had other pictures of her on the YouTube. And they all, everybody just ate, so they're kind of relaxing a little bit. If you have any questions on how we raised any of these corals or or the fish, you can just. Leave a comment there, and I'll, 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 I'll respond to you. And there's the fuzzy cor coral, and I didn't uh, explain what, what that is in, in, in the background last time, I don't believe. It's the fairy bass. Now, in this tank, if you notice the Mexican turbo snail, we have uh, 12 of these guys, and that's why the tank looks the way it looks as far as no algae. You might notice the coral lime on the glass. Don't mistake that for being a dirty tank. This is a very clean tank. What we're doing with the coral lime, since it's an all-natural reef, we're allowing this to build up. And that is going to be a solid wall eventually. And the back will have a solid wall of pink uh, coral lime. And the side will have a solid wall instead of using a paper background. If you notice in the background, we, we also have the ocean going. And back here is, is a little sump tank, if you will. It's just an add-on, but this is not a very big tank. It's a little experiment trying to, to do these corals and propagation and, and without any unnatural uh, elements, such as mechanical-type pumps. And the reef tank was set up in proper proportions with the sand and the rock. And in the back is an algae filter, if you will. So it's not the normal sump pump. It's just being used as an algae filter, and it's loaded with copods. You can see them flying all over the place. And the pods, isopods, and tigger pods are, are, are in there. Back to over here, once again, we see the bubble coral. I hope everybody enjoys this. If you notice the little fine tentacles are out, that's because she has been protecting the baby. And at nighttime, she drops over and lays on top of the baby. And I'll give you just another little view of the baby before we close out this video. Is that beautiful? What do you think? What, what? My wife wants you to see the psychedelic mandarin. And that's the yellow goby in the back and the psychedelic mandarin just 
took off and he is in there. There he goes. And of course, that's the yellow goby, the psychedelic mandarin. There's also a pom-pom crab in here, but he's not coming out to see anybody right now. Leave you with a couple of minutes of clownfish hosting a rosebud anemone. If you're wondering what's going on here, these were some leather corals that actually wound it up being removed from this tank into a nano tank because the anemone was very uncomfortable. And once again, we'll sign off with our latest edition. Now on the third day, it is moving around. And if you'll also notice, I don't know if you can or not, but in the gravel, if you look close enough, you will see a bunch of these little bubble tips coming up from the ground. I believe we'll have a colony here shortly. Thank you and stay tuned. We'll be back in a few more days.